Man, it's it has been about a decade almost. Last time I saw you was in Brisbane for Soundwave. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you remember this face, but we had a good time. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I was that was the first night. That was no, yeah. it was that the first or second? Yeah, uh first, I believe. It was the first. Yeah. Ooh, we had a hangover that day. Man. And I was <laughs> that was partly my fault. Yes, you were at the you were at the hotel. I was, and it was was it Bloody Marys? Was your... oh my god! You <laughs> you're like, I'm like, I'll get you a drink, and you're like, what do you want? You want? Bloody Mary, and I was like, okay, let's let's go to the vegetable option. But uh, um, well, I was like, I figured I'd be okay with the vegetables, you know, being like, well, yeah. I'll, I'm getting the protein and stuff I need, and I'll be, I won't have a hangover. Hell no, that was the worst hangover I've ever had. Welcome to Australia, mate. Yeah, but, uh, that was that was my that was my welcome to Australia moment. And I, I am so like just to be, I'm so excited to come back, dude. Uh, I'm I'm beyond like I think I'm as excited as you guys are uh, mm. uh, coming there and to be coming with Anders and him doing the the uh, mate feed kill repeat. Uh, you know that is such an awesome. And then Corey giving him his blessing. It's like everything is aligning for this tour to be so amazing. It's pretty special, man. I mean, for us down here, because we we usually don't. We're the only ones getting it. I know. We're not. We usually we're the ones that usually see it online, going, "Oh yeah, we'll never see that down here because Mm. you know Australia." But man, people are just so damn excited that you guys are coming down here. Um, especially seeing you after so long, got a lot of catching up to do. So, uh, obviously. Uh, have you touched base with Anders about all this? Have you been in touch? Well, we we've kind of talked uh, like on through post. We we've, we've not spoke yet, and I'm yeah. totally looking forward. And I've heard nothing but good things about Anders, and uh, can't wait to meet him. Uh, I'm pretty sure like we're gonna be on the plane, you know, flying d- together, looking at each other. I, I know who you are. <laughs> it's like, hey, come on over here. Uh, I, I got a feeling that's going to be the time that we're going to actually, we'll have a 24-hour flight where we're going to get to talk. <laughs> it's it's a crazy world, man, especially in the metal world. You know, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people are, are very, very interested to see uh, see these shows. And, man, how how was that Soundwave tour for you, though? I mean, apart I from the hangover. It. Uh, it was one. It was it was one of my most favorite moments. That whole year culminated into a lot of great things. I did in Shroom. Um, we did Russia. We did you guys with Soundwave. We turned around and did Mayhem that 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 summer. It was just a great year, and that was like the initial spot where I really started hooking up with Corn and getting to yeah. know those guys. Man. Because you're still mates with those guys too. Oh yeah, those are my boys. I seen them uh, last year. Um, at incarceration, I came in to see them, but you know, it's like, they're very busy. They're doing their, they, they, you know, everybody's got their own thing. And when we see each other, we catch up and um, you know, nothing but the best, but that I mean, that's, that's the business too. You know, it's like, you got to focus on what you're doing is like they do. And you, and you can only imagine, you know, it's like how busy they are. Well, that's it. And that's it. And I guess it's, it's, it's one of those things where you don't see people for a little while. And I don't know how it is with you, but you know, I've got mates in other bands in other States. Then you, you see, you haven't seen each other for like six months to maybe a year. And then you catch up and you're like, it's yeah, like, it bugs and, and kisses. And then you don't talk again for another six months. Yeah. <laughs> but you still support. <laughs> that them, works. You know? yeah. <laughs> but of course I don't want to spoil things. But uh, we've we have got a lot of catching up to do with you musically though down here. I mean, a killer's confession plus some mushroom head stuff that you're gonna yes. be catching up on. I, I think um, I'm sorry, half and half, half and half. Okay, wow. So how how's that going with the? Have you got a band that you're bringing over, or is it the? My drummer Lee is joining me because this is a solo venture, so it's not AKC per se. Mm. Um, when I was approached with it, being that it's so hard to get there, I was the only one budgeted for to mm. come. And uh, the other guys, it, you know, it's 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 like uh, about five five six thousand dollars to get down there and to do this tour out of their pocket. And Lee, uh, my drummer, 
for AKC, he really wanted to do it. And, you know, he had the money at that moment. It's like, I'm doing it. And just hopped on. And now I know I had to go by myself. <laughs> uh, we'll look after you, mate. I know you will. <laughs> I know you will. But uh, how's, how's your health going as well, man? Are you doing all right? My health is much better. Uh, you know, I had the scare a couple of years ago, uh, and uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm free right now. I'm getting ready to go back in and do another checkup and make sure that everything, I'll probably end up doing it before I come down there, yes. uh, just to make sure that I still have a clean bill of health. Um, but other than that, you know, a, a, a lot of people don't realize I, they caught it so early. Like this was one of those situations. It wasn't like I had it and it was progressively getting worse. The way the doctor put it to me, this thing probably showed up a week ago. Like that's how quickly yes. they found, found it in me and uh, was able to remove it. And that's amazing. Uh, now, now I just got to be under constant surveillance instead of uh, going to get, uh, going to get a uh, colonoscopy every five years. I got to go every two. Mm. So it's like, they want to make sure that, and, and, and I loved how he put it to me. He's like, I got to make sure it doesn't take root. Cause he goes, that's when it gets bad. He goes, when this comes and, and it, it just, when you cut it out and it becomes pretty much a, a, a hydra, you cut one head off, two more pop up, and it just gets worse and worse. And and that's what happened to my father. So I really have to be careful about that. Yeah, it happened with my grandfather too, man. So, so you understand exactly. It, too, it, man. It's one yeah. of the most preventable cancers yeah. and, and treatable. But once it gets out of hand, that's when it's bad business. Yeah, he didn't know. He didn't know. It's yeah. a silent killer. You won't know. Yeah. Um, my wife is the one that, that like, I was having issues and she's like, you're going to the doctor. And I'm like, hell no, I'm not. Screw the doctor. I'm not going no doctor. We actually fought in the parking lot. And, and my wife and I do not fight. Like, it, it is a rarity for my wife and I to raise our voice to each other. Mm. And I am a avid person. I do not like going to the doctor because I'm just going to get bad news. And I don't want to know. Well, she fought me tooth and nail and dragged me. She dragged me in by the ear. And by the end of it, the doctor had it by the cheeks. Like, you saved this man's life. Oh, she's a good lady, mate. She's a good she one. She is. She's my queen. And, I, and I'll say it right now. I'll say it to the world. I'll say it every day. Then that's, that's Mama AKC. She got my back. Oh, that's beautiful, mate. That's beautiful. And, of course, you are sober now too, right? Six years. Six years. Dude, congratulations, man. I mean, it's a hard, well, hard yuck. Almost. Uh, Mama, Mama just corrected me. Almost seven. Oh, wow. What? That's nuts. Yeah. Dude, I, I just like I, I I had enough, um, you know, for those who don't know, I I tried to play Motley Crue. I was trying, <laughs> from 1984 and it wasn't really it wasn't really happening for me. <laughs> it wasn't a good deal. And, uh, you know, I, I had I had uh, stints where I tried to get sober and it just didn't work. Drinking was never my problem. I never had it like the, the, me drinking with you and doing all those Bloody Marys. That was a rarity with me. It was, oh, wow. usually, it, it was usually let's do uppers, you know, let's, let's go up. I wasn't about drinking and stuff. And so alcohol has never been a real issue for me. I, I'm the type of guy I can go and have a martini. And, and the key word is have a hey. martini have one and I, I don't I don't have to have five you know it's like I, I like I honestly like I like to have one with a steak dinner or something like that and I'll do that maybe once a year I never like I never was a real bad drunk or anything but by god you got to see one of the nights I did <laughs> you were great fun like we we had a good time we we had a good laugh but um but that's the thing it's like but that wasn't really my thing yeah 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 <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, it's like I was more into speed, but the speed yeah. caught up to me and it really did. I had a stroke because of it. And uh, on stage with AKC, I was singing LOL oh, wow. and ha happened right then and there. And um, I remember I, it slumped me over. My whole right side of my body just went limp. Like if you ever seen one of those toys, like little cheap toys that you, you push the bottom of it and the body yeah. breaks down. Yeah, and it, it, that's what happened to me. Wow, I was like, hey, what happened? And I started drooling out this side of my mouth and uh, uh, JP, uh, our bass player, Trumpy and everybody, they, they also said, what's wrong? I said, talk to him. Just, just talk to the guy. I don't know what's happened to me. And I told him to talk to him and, uh, and they did. And I remember kind of crawling back, like kind of like limping back to the stage and I squatted and finished the set. And then uh, Julie spent the rest of the tour cussing me out. 
because I wouldn't go to the doctor. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. And I slept the entire tour. Like I'd get up for sound check. And then I'd be like, I'd just go in there and I'd kind of listen and I'd go lay back down and uh, come back out at stage time and conserve what energy I had to do the show. And the tour was only like two weeks and uh, it was bad. And that was the beginning of me. Like I got to turn this around. I can't do this to my body anymore. Man. So it was, it was totally self-inflicted what happened to me. And, and, it, and it happens, man. But I'm glad that you got out of that that rut, you know? That's well, a, that's the thing, man. It's like I, I'm, I'm willing to share my story, but, like, yeah. my key to sobriety isn't what everybody else's is. Like, a lot of people go through uh, 12-step programs, you yep. know, groups, and, and mine, was, mine was Julie and myself, and uh, I have a fear now. Um, I don't want to be around it. I don't want to see it because I get that stroke feeling if I see it. It's like, wow. I got to like, think, okay. You ever seen Clockwork Orange? Remember when they, uh, when they brainwashed him? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's oh, what happens to me. I, when, like I get sick and it's like, my body has a natural deterrent to it now. That's a cool, that's a good thing though. I that's guess. a great thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't want to do that. Mm, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> and then I have to walk off. Man. But how'd you find that after all that, that, you know, your creativity and, and, uh, even your vocals, because you're one of the best vocalists in metal, man. Let's let's lay Thank it you. on the line. You, you, so you've much. always been one of my favorites. But how do you find that you know that getting sober and and, and things like that has affected your created creativity and, and and vocal ability? No, granted, I wish I did it 20 years ago and could have had this brain in the young me, which could have been phenomenal. You know, it's like the the work ethic and the the thought process I have now because of my sobriety, I didn't have. It was like, let's hurry and get done so I can reward myself. Now I'm like, why are we saying this? What's the meaning? What's the story? What am I conveying? I look more than just a hook. I look more into, uh, you know, and hooks are great and everything, and but they're dated. Like a hook, well, you know, if, if especially if it's trendy will go away faster than something with substance. Something with substance may not burn as hot as a hook does at that moment, but that substance will outlive it. And that's where I'm at now. Yeah. And man, the stuff that you're doing is, I love it. Like tongue. Ah. Oh, so brutal, man. Like I'm loving this direction that you're going. It's, it's, it's. I'm giving everybody the monster back. That everybody's like, "When's Angry Whalen coming back?" And I told everybody he was dead for years, and I was lying. I just kept him really far buried, so far down, and and finally it got to a point where I realized it's not about what I want to do. You guys gave me the career. I'm gonna give you what you want, but the only there's one catch to it. Don't get upset when the other me says something you don't like, because he will. Like, that's the point of being this character is the no fucks given. And, like, yeah. no cancel culture. He's not afraid of it. I'm going to I'm going to address the situation. I'm going to say it like it is. Well, not. And, and, and to hell with anybody thinks. It's like, I'm going to say what everybody's scared to say right now, and I'm going to fight you about it. <laughs> I love it. I love that. But, uh, you know, uh, I've got, you seem, it seems heavier than what you've ever done. I mean, yeah, it's it heavy, but it's next level heavy, dude. Like it's, it's crazy. It, it's 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 got old school vibes, and it has some yes. new, like the new 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 school vibe to it. You know that modern sound, but anger is anger, and you know you got like bands like Slaughter to Prevail, which God, he's just got such a that that voice of his. <laughs> I don't know where like, it comes from. Even I'm like, how the fuck do you do that? It's like. Brr. He's like, he's so low and it's so, and, but like, it, it's got an anger, but there, it's like, it's still to me, it doesn't have that feel angry from Pantera. Yeah. That, that real, just, I'm going to get effed up if I don't watch my mouth angry. It's true. Someone said that about, cause I, I, I've got a very mid range to low, mm -hmm. I guess. And I was like, oh, man, I wish I could go that low. And someone actually said to me, going, my band said, no, you've got this, it's like this attack, this aggression that's that's a little bit more intense than, and it can be more intense than uh, just 
storming around with the low, you know. Yeah, it's like there's more to it. Yes. And, and, and uh, like I like I'm very punctual with the anger because like my screen is more angry than it is um, a tone. It's more like the thunder hand of God coming down on you. Like like something might. Am I speaking truth? Am I really doing this? You know, is it's like that. It's that type of voice when you hear your dad get mad. And I'm not yes, calling yes. myself old, but that fear of God. Like yeah. oh man, I need to. I just walked into the wrong room and I look at like when doing the melodic vocals, I want to hypnotize you and get you hooked into the, what I'm saying. Mm. But then when I do use the heavy stuff, I want it to be just a smack in your face. And you feel it too. Yeah. No, it, it's, man. Like, it's, you weird. know, I mean, and I'm not dissing uh, anybody who does, does that low, low stuff. I mean, I like, I love it just like anybody Yeah, else. I love it too. Don't get me wrong. But like, I feel like, you know, you're kind of limited on what you're doing too. You know, it's like, I like a variety singer. I like a singer that can use real vocals, that can get hell, uh, get really heavy and then have some really good lyrical content. Like I'm looking like there's, it's, it's the Triforce per se. It's, you got to have all three. Yes. To be, that's the man right there. I love that uh, Zelda reference right there. So, I knew yeah. you would. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can kind of see the thing, but um, of course, you know, in, in terms of you, you said character, this is something I think about a lot. Is when I'm up on stage, I feel like I'm personally taking a backseat. This person takes a backseat, and yes. whoever that dude is, he comes out and it's he does his thing. It's like a switch. I can never explain it. It's it's like a Jekyll and Hyde thing. But um, do you feel that is it's either a different part of your personality, or some people think that it's it's like uh, I don't mean to get woo woo, but like channeling in a way, you know? I definitely, you feel? I, I definitely feel like my side is a subconscious me, uh, a more protective, a more angry that has been there to protect me throughout the darkness in my life. That has been the been the been the stronger personality to step up when Waylon was not strong enough to step up. I feel like that it is. Uh, some people could say it's channeling, but I really feel like it's me. It's just a very dark, darker version of myself. That's, you know, it's part of my subconscious. And it comes out of that. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely split personality. Um, like I, like sometimes I'm like, why did I say that? I don't agree with it. But when I'm in that character, I totally agree with it. Yes, that's right. Now, and, and, and that's the thing. It's like, you, know, like you, you sit out. I sit out a lot of times and he takes over. And, uh, you know, and somebody's going to wrap that up and I'm going to be a Satanist that's channeling demons or whatever. And that's not, that's the furthest thing from the truth. It's just like, it's really just my protective side that's yeah. taking over. And, but he's the one you don't want to meet, though. Like, he's not there to be your friend, he's there to protect myself or, or whoever he feels threatened. If that makes sense. Have you found that he has come out in other ways outside of music in maybe either other, other creative ventures or either you say about protection? Have you, he's not like a father. He has, uh, he's, he's the angry. He's the, he and myself, both. we don't recognize the world we live in anymore. Yeah. I, I really don't. I truly don't. I don't recognize where we're at as a society and some of the stupidity that we let go. And I'm not pointing fingers at any side. So don't take it to that. But the stupidity of people right now and the inability to communicate drives him fucking nuts because <laughs> there it, it, because people have forgot the one key word in life that you must understand and you must live by compromise yes compromise is the only way you take a you take the best of both and you put them together it can't be all one it can't be all the other it's got to be together and it's got to be these ideas and these ideas and mesh them together and then you then you create something great and we've gotten to a point where people are scared to speak their thoughts because they're, uh, they're ridiculed they're they're you know uh, uh on how they think and you know, get bigot, get called bigot, trans, transphobic, whatever. And I and I'm I'm like, listen, 
everybody's got a chance to be anything they want. This is freedom. This is life. This is you accept your, your fellow human or who they are and God bless them. Yes. You know, and it's like any issues they have, they can take it up on the other side, you know, and that's my, I'm the last person that will ever judge anybody except for one type of person. And if you read any of my shirts, you know, that. Type oh, of I know. Oh yeah, dude. I know. I'm with you. That's on the, the only time. person I will judge. And yeah. uh, everything I say, I mean, I truly mean it. Uh, yeah. Understand that. I do not think it's a preference. I do not think that it's a, uh, it's, uh, I don't think that it's healthy. I do not think that it should be allowed. I think that we should just eradicate the whole situation. I'm with you 100%. I'm a father myself, just so people understand mm-hmm. what we're talking about here. I'm trying not to get you banned. Sure. Uh, no, don't. I, man, I don't give a fuck. I've been canceled. They, they yeah. demonetize me, everything because of that shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't make money off the internet. That's like, because that's the first way they tried to get you is like, the, and try to shut you up. It's like, and it's the golden rule. Fuck with their money. Fuck yeah. with a person's money. I'm it broke is. anyway, so I don't care. Oh. <laughs> that's the thing. I just, I'm just doubling down. Like they, oh, they, know, yeah. they took tongue. Um, it will never be suggested to anybody. You'll never find tongue in your newsfeed because they won't allow it. Because I took a pedo and cut his tongue out and burned him alive. <laughs> and uh, and that's the end of a beautiful story. I'm all for <laughs> and I know, I know it's people get funny about things but i that's one thing i agree with you and it makes me very very fucking angry as well um i have I, 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 grandfather. We, have seven, we have seven kids between us we're parents we're real parents you know it's yeah. like we have kids in college you know none of mine are babies anymore but i i'm going to protect them no matter what and that yeah. is the one thing it, it's like if you want to meet the devil in a glance do that and you will find the worst side of me come out and uh I, I, when I left Mushroom Heads, when it really happened was when I worked with children and I seen the reality of it, of the aftermath. Yeah. Work with those children that had been abused and just. It, was that, that something you were doing? Like I, I wasn't aware that that's something you were doing um, for, for work or support work. That's or? what that's what I did when I left uh, yeah. Mushroom Heads. And for a year, I worked with children, and I worked in a group home of children that were wards of the state that were un- out, of, out of sex trafficking rings. So I've seen it firsthand. So anybody that wants to talk that mess to me, yeah, leave the room, because I know what I saw. Breaks and my heart. It, it, it breaks mine, too. So, like, it developed that statement, and I will stand by it 100%. Man, I, I agree, dude, 100%. 100%. Eye for an eye. <laughs> That's right. Hey, amen to that, brother. But, amen uh, to that, brother. Yeah. But uh, in regards to what someone did want to ask you before with, with the personalities and the makeup and the mask, what does that represent? When you put that on, do you find that that's the key to yes. unlocking that person? Yes, it is. It is everything. Um, the visual, when I see it, is when it takes over. When I see that person, it's not the person we're looking at right now. I look like happy-go-lucky dad right now, just <laughs> yeah. at home in the chair. Um, that's when he comes out. It's like when it's a manifestation of it. So good. I saw the busts that that dude did too. Oh yeah. my god, they're so <laughs> gorgeous! I thought that was a picture. I was like, no, wait a minute. I need that's to not- my house. <laughs> I know where it's at. I'm gonna get to see it in person. So I'm actually excited to see it in person. Are they life size or are they like uh they're like yeah, they're um yeah, they're 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 off my head cast. So yeah, it's life size. Are they for sale? Are they like how we how can I get one? <laughs> how do we I don't know? I I, I do think these were commissioned. Oh, so okay. Yeah. All right, then fine. I'll just <laughs> <laughs> I need one. Why would I you want it. this ugly mug in your house anyway? I put it right here, right here, so I could ask it for. It. I'll be like, "What do you think?" Just like, put a bloody Mary next to it. Yeah, it's here with little straw, <laughs> little straws with them. Go hands, but uh, <laughs> of, of course, I do have a lot of time for for you, and of course, Jeff and Church, like amazing human beings, like Jeff Hatrix. What a good, what a, good man! Guy. What a good dude. Like, I spoke to Church today, actually. Oh really? Yeah, Church is sitting there hanging out with his daughters. See, he's doing good, man. I, like Church and I, we keep up. 
like I try to keep up with everybody. Um, no matter what terms anybody's on with anybody, I am totally neutral now. I, I love everybody. I'm not the same person I used to be. Mm. And uh, the fight's over in me, but my love for the people I've worked with is there. You know, it's like I don't wish harm or bad, bad hell. Uh, I don't wish anything on anybody. You know, it's like I love them from a distance, but this there. So, so you are still on on good terms with the the mushroom head people. I, I've spoke uh, with with members, and uh, it, it's cordial. But they know where I'm at. Uh, they know that I, I I don't wish any ill will. Um, I, I, they know that I don't want. I don't. I, I wish I could take back how it ended. I can't. But um, you know, they know this. They know the remorse I have for it. Now, granted, do I think I need to needed to leave? Yes. Uh, do I think it needed to happen the way it did? No. That's so either way you get the same, um, situation, me not in mushroom head, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it shouldn't have been the way it did. It should not have ended the way it did. And that, that's my fault completely. That happens in life, dude. You know, it's like, yeah, it does. It does. And, 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 but I mean, it was, it was my, I, I just, I needed to go solo. I needed yes. that was the worst and best thing to ever happen to me. Yeah, I just wish I just wish that it hadn't ended the way it did. I just wish it had been like going rooms like I'm not doing this anymore. I love you. I gotta go. And I and I wish it had been that. Man, but you know, I'm glad you're still like in touch with with the with those dudes and in that aspect that you buried that and. You know, I mean, because look, these two albums here, I got them on the of of the ye old recordings. Yeah. <laughs> one on there, yeah. Hopefully, I can see and you can put a little. I'll sign them for it. Don't you worry, man. I, I, I got, I take care. If anybody has a mask, I'll say this here now. If anybody has a mask or anything like that, bring it. I'll sign nice. it. I'm not going to rip it up. I, I might even put it on. That'd be cool. That'd be really uh, well. I haven't got a mask, but I got the vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one thing you could just you know, huh, and frisbee it out the way. Nah. No, I won't do that. I'll, I'll totally sign it. Like people come to shows here in the states all the time, and they have their mask, and they're so scared to ask me, thinking that I'm I'm that that mad at the situation that I, I won't sign it. And I'm like, yeah, no, I, cool. I will, I will. They just don't understand where I'm at. A lot of people will have it in their head that you know it's like I'm vindictive and this and that, and that, and they'll try to talk for me and. Nobody can speak for myself but myself, and I held no animosity towards anybody. I, I, I've moved on. I I've transcended it. into something else. Yeah, definitely, man. And I, I can't wait to hear what uh, you've got cooking with uh, a killer's confession, man. Like this new heavy stuff. Is there an album on the way? Yes. What's Victim what's One, on, man? Need more. Uh, the album is called Victim One. When and. Uh, <laughs> I just love that. You don't even let me win. Um, I, next week, I go to Nashville, Tennessee, and yeah. I'm finishing up vocals for all of it. Oh, So you, you're I mean, looking. And we're shopping at those. So that might hold up a little bit of uh, time when it comes out. I'm trying to get it on a bigger label because I do would like to have that more national, worldwide push behind it. I don't really care about the money. I care about the exposure. Mm. If that makes sense, I, I want the I want I want everybody I want it to be in front of everybody, but I got to make sure the album's right first. But I'm playing a show tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play something new that I've never played before tomorrow. And I'm not gonna not, be tomorrow, not tomorrow Saturday. <laughs> I thought it was Friday for some reason. Saturday I'm gonna play a song that nobody's ever heard. So is it similar to tongue? Is it like is it heavy? Like that, it's or heavy, it's heavy, but it's got all your old favorites parts, like flavors. Ugh. Okay. Like it, it, it's very much a mushroom head throwback vocally. And I, I are you going to play it on this tour that you're coming down here? Oh yeah. Oh, see, I'm going to. I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, I didn't. We didn't do it in the last year, but I'll do it in this one because it's already out. If you if you look it up, you can find it. I'm going to do simple survival. I'm going to do twelve hundred, 
I'm going to do QWERTY. I'm going to do our apologies. I'm going to do I, I'll be here. I'm going to do save us. Man, let's go. Let's and go. Then I'm going to turn around, but I'm not going to do it in that order. I don't have to decide what order we'll okay. do yet. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to do the biggest of the AKC songs. So we're going to come out. We'll do Be My Witness. We'll do The Boys. Um, I'm going to do Tongue. I'm going to do this new song that I'm not giving a name out to. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do Numb and Angel on the Outside. And and you're going to be playing my hometown too, like in one of my favorite venues. Oh, like, and here's nothing. And I'm doing all the vocals by myself. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Man, this is, this is going to be so sick. <laughs> like well, you gotta you understand i'm going to i'm going to transpose these and r- r- not rewrite yeah we we'll make them to where i do the important parts like because hey. jeff and i would, would would layer over top of each other yeah and i have to make that decision of like i sing this line and then i sing this line and then maybe i sing this line and then i jump into this line <laughs> it's like i'm trying to figure out how to do that and then, you know, who knows? Maybe there's a fan out there singing it just like me, and I might bring him up on stage and let him sing with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'll my hat in the ring, bro. I would. But I, I'm serious. I want to give people that opportunity, man. I'm going to do it. But if I see somebody showing me that much love out in the crowd, I'm going to pull them in and uh, and uh, and be like, All right, come, come join me tonight. Oh, man. Like this, because this might be the one and only time that I ever do this. So you you wouldn't want to do it global, I guess, because your your focus is a killer's confession. Right? My focus is a killer's confession, but yeah. being that Australia is the hardest part in the world to get to, we are on the opposite end of the world. Yeah, it, it's like I, I this opportunity was presented to me to do it like this, and this is how they wanted it done. And I never thought about doing this. This was not my idea to, to be like, I'm going to go do this and this and this. This was this was pre- presented to me. And my first initial answer was no. Wow. I did not want to do it. And but I wanted to go to Australia too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh my initial was no. And uh, I had to th- I had to think on it. And it, we started working out because I, I, d- I didn't want to ruffle any feathers. Yeah. I didn't, like I said, I got love for everybody. I didn't want to ruffle any feathers. But at the same time, I think the powers that be know that I'm going to do that stuff right. I'm not going to half ass it and, and do shame on myself and them. I'm not going to do that either. I, I, I think it's going to be incredible, dude. I think it's going to be just amazing. Well, and then you got Anders talking about like he's going to be throwing down and doing some crazy shit. So I definitely got to bring my A game too. <laughs> so, oh, I, I, you know, people, people are so excited about it. Like, you know, it's like, I, I, you know, it's like, and like I said, I've never met Anders or anything. And I'm totally yeah. just down to see what this is about. Like, I'm just like, I'm intrigued so much. And I'm like, all right, man. It's like, and he is like the way he's dedicating it to, to Joe, Joey and Paul, and awesome. I think that's wonderful because I mean he did he, he played with those guys, and I think his heart's in the right place, and he's like I'm going to bring that animalistic brutality, and I'm like okay, so like I'm like okay I got to bring my A game too. It's like this is not a joke, you know, and I'm not saying that I ever look at shows like a joke, but something like that right. definitely always puts a fire on you, but to yeah. bring the possible show to animals, man. Up on stage, just going. Well, that's the thing. I'm an older animal now. Like, and 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 it's like the 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 animal I was in 14 isn't the animal you're gonna get now. You know, I got to go run some laps. (laughs) (laughs) You've got that aggression, dude. It's all in that aggression we were talking about. It is. It it is. But a lot of it with me now is is a lot of eye contact, a lot of crowd control, and a lot of like I'll do the jumps and stuff like that. But like I will be more on top of you, like visually, like you like fuck around, find out. Yeah, you know, it's it. like it's more of a mental thing with me now. I love it. That's going to be amazing, dude. But of course, uh, Zoom is going to be clocking us out and booting us off on the road. It's getting out very soon. But, uh, dude, when you're down here, if you got time, I'll take you out for have a brekkie, get some pancakes. I'm all about it, man. I'm all about eating. You know this. I, uh, me too. <laughs> That's I'm, like, I'm, I'm actually bringing. I gotta get some Vegemite to bring back home. Um, yeah, so not yeah. a fan. I'm just going to trick people to eat a spoonful at a time. <laughs> we, love it. we love it. 
It's, it's like it was we were breastfed Vegemite from a you birth. were, you know. Yeah, and, well, I, but okay, I understand how to do it though. Yeah, lightly butter your toast and put a light spread over top of it. You don't put it on there like jam. You gotta have the right. You gotta have that right little. Uh, you know, it's, it's the right amount, and it's sweet. But most people hate it. Like I've got. I've got a yeah, oh, I mean, I like, seriously yeah. like. I, I put it on there like okay. You ever have strawberry jam or anything like you put on a biscuit or yeah. or strong, like you put a lot on it because it's sweet. Yeah, I did that with my Vegemite. <laughs> you mucked yourself. <laughs> uh, oh my god! I, I put like an inch thick layer on there. <laughs> Could you imagine? Some people that do. There's some people that do. But um, have nah, you seen know. it personally or it didn't happen? I saw it happen. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, people love so it. Bad. Oh, no. so bad. <laughs> so bad. We'll look after you, mate. We'll look after you. We'll get you some veggie. Now you've said that, you get everywhere you go, you're just gonna have people throwing Vegemite at you. It's a, you're just gonna be like, just I've I've got enough in my bag. I can't take it home. Just chill. and I'm and I'm doing one more thing while I'm down there. Yeah, we're going to revisit KFC. It's good. No, it's not. Wow. Not the last time. Go look up mine and Schmoss's video about eating Australian KFC. Which KFC though? That's the that's the thing. It depends where you go. Ah, we were in Sydney. Yep, there's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Let me tell you a little secret. You know what KFC stands for? Kentucky Fried Ibis. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. Ah, yes, yeah, that one. Yeah, I know. Okay. You don't know nothing about Kentucky. <laughs> of you're in Australia. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to go back and I'm going to try it again. Yep. And I've got that video where I talk mad shit about KFC and, and we're going to do it again. I'm going to totally do it again. You're going to have the, you can have the Colonel with a baseball bat out front of him. Oh, oh if it ain't <laughs> this time, something's getting burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> We'll we'll get you some good nugs, mate. We'll get you some good chicken. But um, in the meantime, I got, I got a chicken I didn't recognize. <laughs> That's the problem. I think it's Ivis. Anyway, don't sue me, Gabe. Um, <laughs> we got plenty. Of, we call them bin chickens down here. Um, no, just for the disclaimer, so I don't get sued. KFC don't use Ibis, okay? It is a special <laughs> chicken. It's just a different kind of chicken. It's not Kentucky chicken. It's chicken from out west. Where it's I just, got three pieces of chicken I didn't recognize. Yeah, I did. We breed them weird here. But um, <laughs> in the meantime, before Zoom kicks us off, we'll have all the links and the dates down here in the show notes and on the website. Waylon, big love, brother, and we can't wait to see you down here, Bruce. Much, much love, you guys. Be good. I'll be there soon enough. Let's go. Woo! Thank Woo! you, <laughs> Thank you I'll, brother. I'll see you soon, man.